Hey, good evening folks. This was sent to me. It's not paid or anything like that. It was just sent for a review. And this is the um, new stove by Fire Maple. It's the um, Radiant Stove System. They said, would you have a look at it? I don't know if it's been released yet. Uh, I don't know what the release date is. They didn't give me any literature to go with it. Well, what's in the box anyway? And they said, just have a look at it and tell me what you think. Slightly different to the original one I've got, which is the... I'll show you. I'll show you. It's the... Why not make that one? It's the same thing, same make, but different model. So let's have a look what's in the package. Okay, you see that? All right. So same sort of principle as what I got originally. A quick there's a little, little manual here as well with it. Tells you when it's in a bright head. Looks pretty similar, but there is a few differences I have noticed, which we'll look into very quickly because I know people don't like to say the jargon and going on. Right, okay, let's have a very, 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 very quick look at the top. It says in here um infrared radiation heating wind resistance uh pressurized regulator valve maintains a constant burner output under various um, environmental conditions and last but not least extra pot stand allows for cooking for alternative pots so that's what you get um a camping cooking system aluminium alloy blah 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 blah, blah, blah. uh weight some people like to know that which is 732 grams 0.6 and yeah there's a few little extras which i'll go into here we are in, in english okay one lid one bowl one lockable handle insulated pot cover heat exchanger extra pot stand flame regulator and pressure regulator valve okay pretty straightforward Bring to one side let's have a look what's in the bag okay so it comes with that nice little hessian bag again which are always handy first thing i've noticed is that the handle's different okay so on the original one you had a little tie, a little brass tie here that hooks onto the handle. So as you can see I've not used it, so I'll whip that off. So this handle locks differently. Oh, that's quite neat. That locks. That's quite good. Get the lid off, same sort of lid. Oh, right, okay. Remove so that. So in here, oh, there we go. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, same sort of pot I believe and then you have a bowl so you get an extra bowl with it now it has stated in this one that you can actually use um, a 200 and is it 200 and where is it ba -ba -ba 100 grams I think it's a 270 grams a gas canister with this which fits inside probably inside the bowl there I would have thought Anyway, so let's have a look at the burner itself. Slightly different. That's different to the other one. Okay, so that's I presume that's the pot stand. And then we have the oh I have to remove the legs out. And then we can release that. And there we go. So oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to put this on a piece of wood that will work with my work surface. Give me a sec. Okay, so I'm going to use the same sort of printer, but it's the same canister. But this is a used one, so instead of me using this brand new one. So that was just for showing. Alright. I presume it's a standard fitting. Yep. Okay, so yeah, a bit. So it can lie down or stand up, which is okay. That's all right. Let's see. What is it like? There's no, there's no ignition on this one, whereas there is on the original one, which I do like. Okay, I did like the ignition. Okay, so I've got the gas canister set up. Let's turn it on. So you need a light it. Can't see much of a flame, can you, with that? Well, there we go, it's going red now. Pretty impressive. That's how, good, how controllable is the... That's 
slow on there as well, how controllable is it? It's not bad. Let's see how long we can go. Okay. So it's quite a, we could have a simmer on this and whatnot. Back it some, get some, whoa, oh my god. That's different. Well, as you can see, well, you, it looks yellow in there, but that is, wow, that is hot. Oh my god, that is hot. Right, let's turn that down a bit. Yeah. Need to simmer. Let's put some water in the, uh, the jug and then just whack it on the heat. Give me a second. Put too much in. So, I think it just sits on, does it? Yeah. The other one you have to sort of push on and twist, but it looks like this one it just just sits on. All right. Let's whack it up. According to the um, uh, instructions as well that came with it, this is more windproof. Let's see, let's, let's see if we can have a look inside. Let's see quickly. Excuse me. I don't know if you can see that. You can't really, can you? You can't see the burn, but the pot fits beautifully on top of the burner. Uh, a bit of heat there, you can see. I don't know how fast. Oh, it's. Well, that's on full. Okay. It's what we are now. Six minutes. Hold on, I'll tell you now. 57, 58, 59, 7. That's 7 minutes, 10 seconds. And she started to steam. My God, that's fast. That is super fast. You can actually hear it now. Anyway, so <clears throat> what we'll do as well, we'll I'll, I'll go through this one with you, and then we'll do a comparison on another video between uh, both Fire Maple. Um, what do they call these now? Are they other They're not jet boils because that's already named already by somebody else, isn't it? Anyway, yeah. I mean that's fast. That's now. 30 seconds. Coming on for three quarters of a minute. Oh, that is super, super fast. So, yeah, that it looks like the heating system is far more efficient, I believe, but depending what you want. Oh, the carbon monoxide coming out. Pause that for a second. Full rolling boil. I would say that took less than a minute. Right, let's just turn that off. There we go. Right, so I'm going to empty this and then um, we'll do a rundown and pack it away and I can show you everything that goes in the pot and everything. Okay, cool down. I don't mean doing that when it's hot. That was, that's been stuck for about 10 minutes. Right, so unscrew the canister self seals they all do these are half propane half butane no um 70 25 something like that anyway right so what you do then it looks like you wrap up your burner tap i presume let's have a look let me put it through there like so twist the legs in that holds it into place and that one that's pretty good Oh, I'm going to take it off. Anyway, not to worry. Well, I'll do that now. Easy enough. Right, so let's see if we can put this back together. So we're going to put it in the burner first, I presume. Let's see. It's not, that's good in the bottom. There. I just realised I forgot to show you as well. So you put your pot stand on as well, and then you can hold it with your fingers. And that fits in beautifully. So back in away, and then you've got your bowl. They call this your bowl. It's quite a handy little thing. It's quite handy. And then 
put your canister, this has got an oval underneath, it's quite indented in there, so I'll stop it from rattling about. Pop that in. Now I think it will take a slightly bigger canister than this. I'm not too sure. This is this says a hundred grams. Is there something else? Is there a code on this? Let's have a quick look. And boom, 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 boom. Goes up to minus 27. That's pretty good stuff. This is Extreme 2 C100. So it is 100 grams. But I think it'll take a 230. I'm sure it'll take a 230. Okay. So anyway, so here goes in there. That's nice and comfortable. Then the lid. And like I said before, if I open the drawer, yeah, before we go, we could pop a, a Bic or any lighter you want which will fit. A Bic will be nice, it'll just slot straight down in there as well. Okay. Then goes the lid, and then the handle, which is very lockable, it doesn't come anywhere. So it's pretty, it's gonna go. It's a very sturdy bit of kit, I gotta admit, it's very, very sturdy. That base, the burner, um, does seem to hold it uh, very firmly. Which is good, and the base is slightly different. There's no tarnish or anything on that. Um, I only did a water test to about, I think it was about three quarters of a pint of water. It wasn't a lot, but I think it took about a minute to boil that. We can do a proper test. I was going to do uh, a test with both of them side by side. I thought that would be quite interesting if anybody's interested in that. These are, I think they're all available on Amazon. I, if I find, I'll put the link in the description down below for you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. That would be amazing. I will keep producing them as much as you want. I'm going to do a lot more now on cooker, review, cooker reviews, camping, boating, and that's coming up now. It's going to be sort of in the making as we, as we, as we talk. Um, I've almost got the boat finished. I did a boat tent one earlier, so we're going tenting, boating, camping. We'll be testing out cookers, testing out tents. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so if you're interested, please subscribe, notification, on the, well, subscribe button over here, and the notification as well, and ring the notification bell, and you'll be notified with any up-and-coming new videos. Uh, as far as we go, this is a brand new, great brand new bit of kit. I love it. I will compare the two. Take care. All the best. Love you loads, and we will definitely see you in the next one. All the best.